In this video, we will review two-factor authentication, identify the types of user roles, define client groups, and determine their use in managing access in Nsight RMM. Users must be added in Nsight RMM to manage devices and view device information. The new user will get an email through which they activate their account. Two-factor authentication, 2FA, is needed to log into RMM. There are four different types of user roles in RMM. A super user is a staff level user and has full access to the dashboard. A super user can manage all dashboard settings, features, and users. Add, delete, and modify clients, sites, and devices. The second type of staff level user is an administrator. An administrator cannot manage users, but can make changes that affect billing, such as adding features or devices. A third type of staff level user is a standard account. A standard user can run checks, troubleshoot device issues, and use the dashboard to solve technical problems. A standard user cannot add devices or make any changes that affect billing and access. The last type of user is the client account. A client has read-only access to the dashboard. They cannot make any changes. Before you begin adding a staff user, you will need to know how you want to group clients and to which staff you want to assign them. If you do not create client groups, your staff users will have access to all clients. Client groups are a way to limit how much dashboard information appears to certain users. Client groups can be made of one client or of several clients. There are several practical advantages in using client groups. A staff user in your business can have dashboard access to only their assigned clients. This provides your staff user with a simplified dashboard and secures your other clients' confidentiality. Only staff users who need to see an account will have access to it through their assigned client group. There is an additional advantage in using client groups. It provides a way to grant limited access of the dashboard to an individual client. Through a separate client group of one and a user account with permission set to only that client group, your client can log in as a user and see their own dashboard. The client would then have a read-only view of their dashboard. 